Lawrence Rivers Trail. There we go. I like Keystone. Thought I'd get out of the house and stretch the legs. A couple of trails in here will work. Well, as you can see here, beautiful day. Lake Keystone. Trail's not marked too well. I kind of wandered off down into the lake's edge, but sure is beautiful down here. So let me get back up here in the woods and find the trail. Have some nice little ups and downs on the trail. Comes up here to a beautiful spot. See the trees getting grown up in the way. Everybody can see the dam there through the trees. Camera's wanting to focus in on the trees. Uh, first part of the trail, it's not marked really well. I've been following these orange ribbons and the uh, All Trails app has pretty much kept me on target. So, as you can see up through here, not a super defined trail. But nice little outie. Looks like we're just still climbing. Okay, here we're going up to up the hill. We should be getting pretty close to the end of it. This little part of the trails and out and back. If you're looking on the uh, All Trails app, that's where I'm at. So we'll get out to the end of it and fire the camera back up. Okay, I walked right up, to, uh, right up the trail there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a house up in the uh, setting up there. So I'm kind of off the All Trails app. I walked off the end of it, so there's really no uh, defined end of the trail. It's still, as you can see, you can still see a trail down through there, so. I turned around. Respect those people's property lines. So, walk back up here a little ways. And trail comes up here on top of a little bluff. Which I'm not sure whose property we're on up here right at the moment. I'm gonna guess core property since there's not a house built up in here. Because it is beautiful overlooking that lake right there. You can see the rocks in there. Looking out past the trees. Very beautiful. Don't ever look down that gully. So, lots of things to explore in there for sure. There's a rock hound. All right. I'm going to shut this off and get the all trails out back out and take a look and see if I'm back on where it's uh, showing the red line of map of me. Okay, looked at the all trails 
and this does show where the trail stops is right in here as you can see the trail definitely looks like it's going on so probably just a couple hundred yards down there you run into those uh, people's property so we will work our way back to that junction there's signs going just a brown post up where you can tell where the trail definitely wise out man it sure is beautiful down in there though look at that rock and out faces and outcroppings let's get down here I can kind of walk out on these this bluff all right quick so we see the tree growing up in between the rocks a good place to get out here and take a look oh yeah let's go down here just a little ways Get right out here on the edge. How about that? The island of the rocks right out there in the middle of the cove. Very beautiful. Get a little swing around here and look on the other side. Very beautiful. Okay, walking, still heading back. Uh, this is where the trail kind of, not 100% sure where it goes. There's a couple of orange tapes tied though, kind of keeps you going down side the lake. You just kind of follow the uh, lake shore. Eh, I don't know how well it come in, but right over there in the cedar trees. Nice little camp spot. Looking out over that bluff. So, don't know how safe the car would be parked over at the trailhead. I didn't notice any broke glass or anywhere like someone's getting the window broke in, broke out and broke into, so. So we're still routing our way back out of here. So you kind of go back up around that hollow and then you go up that hill over there. You can go up on top of it where you're headed to. So you kind of got to walk back in past these little bays stuck back in here in the lake. So, okay, here we go. Okay, I'm back up here where this, uh, where the trail wise off. Now, I came up from that direction, but I think the trail actually wants you to work up from here. I just went out there on the point of the lake. And here's this post I was telling you. Alright, so down this way here is where I went to the out and back part of that. Walked out to those cliffs, so. This uh, Cordonal Trail is supposed to take us up on around the loop and we'll wind up back up Earth's Trailhead. So, here we go. A little section here will be following this old road, it looks like. I can see this being a bushwhack in the summertime, for sure. I think it's grown up in there pretty good. So. I'm guessing down that way. No, no. Let's pull the, all the trails out and take a look here and see. Let's just walk up here and see what this is. This looks like it's well traveled. Also, yeah, there's some orange markers, so. Back down the cedar trees. Man, them things need to be cut out. Take over a place. Uh, yeah, there's trails everywhere. 
Trail heading off that way. Trail heading off that way. Okay, I guess you guys recognize that shot. Don't go up the hill. You want to stay on the all trails route. Root, it does drop off here. My guess is someone's cut out some wider swings in there. So, anyway, back off down the brush. We go. Okay, actual project, uh, Keystone Project Office is what's on this sign. Here's the actual trail marker. There's some tape tied up on top of the tree. I just come out of there and the trail goes right around this way. So, the trail's pretty defined once you fall off back down into the uh, take part there where I made the wrong turn went up the hill so we'll keep going okay I dropped off the hill right up there and there is a marker now to a cedar tree here's another marker so getting down this area it's got quite a few markers on there as you can see there some ribbon hanging from the tree So it looks like it's probably been rerouted at some point. Just looking at the marker, here comes a uh, little wood bridge and a sitting bench. I think that's to put on the all trails app. No place to take a break. It looks like the bridge has collapsed. And there's trail marker. And I bet that trail turn went right up through there at one time or another. For the simple fact we're pretty close to where we made that turn back down the hill. So, if you know what's been raining and running, you may have little wet feet there. That bench may be everybody's turnaround point too. Okay, so here we got the road widening out again. Going that way or that way. So, we'll walk up here and kind of see. Like they're both going in the general same direction. Here's this old wool field pad. I believe what all trail says this is. Yep, maybe an old pump jack stood right there. Signs of the past. Yep. So all that does is bypasses that pad. Okay, on where we go. Okay, as you can see, there's a little marker on the tree there. The trail's not really defined that well in here from where the when the lake was up, all the trash that washed up in here, it's kinda of hard to tell. But as you can see, there's where I walked in on that lower trail. And they're just right here, these two trails are right here together. But you can see there's where I walked back in to the first inlet. And you got that taking that water intake over there stuck out in the, out in the lake. So, we'll go back down. 
you can hear the traffic, so I'm right back at the parking area. This is where I walked up here at. And there's a wood mage right there. So, it'll give you kind of an idea where the trail wise, wise off at. If you wanted to go counterclockwise. Alright, that's going to wrap it up.